welcome to Proverbial Gaming. This is me, Brad, and I have a new tutorial for you guys. Uh, this one is about how to do audio effects on iMovie 11. Again, this is for beginners, but if you guys, you know, struggle with iMovie, then this always helps. So first, you need to obviously make a project, like I've done here, and then whatever video uh, clip you want to put that audio on top you import the clip movie etc and drag it into your project but just so you guys can I'll show you guys I'm going to put um, just a title on uh, I'll put a pretty simple one on I like uh, lens flare I do like that one it looks very professional she's a background I like gradient. I always like gradients. And I'll choose the text. Pro verb I proverbial gaming. Yeah, it's how you spell it. So once you've got that text and your clip imported, um you then get your audio by clicking on this music symbol here, the music note. Click on that. And then it brings up all your tunes from iTunes, because this is obviously for Mac. And I'm going to pick a copyright free bit of tune, drag and drag and click that into the box. Don't put it on the clip, just drag it and put it in. That's generally what I do. And so you have this at the moment. It's nothing too extreme. If you go to this cog up here and just drop down arrow, click on that and do clip timer, trimmer. Sorry. Once you clicked on that, you can listen to your whole tune. So yeah, you listen to your whole tune, and once you find the part that you want, um, what part shall I have? I have it there, so then you get this end, and then you drag it onto the place where you would like to have the tune starting. So you got this. As you can see, it's only gone for four seconds because I don't really particularly want it long. So that's just a quick demonstration. So once you pick part of the song that you'd like, and um, you have this. has improved then if you go to the arrow again and do audio adjustments then you got your volume setting which you can increase your volume from a hundred percent to five times the volume which can be useful if you're using some quiet music which you'd like to enhance very useful that is ducking um, you won't generally need to use that very much, but if you would like to, to like reduce the volume of other tracks going into each other, that's always useful. And then you got fade in and out. Um, you can have manual by clicking that manual box. As you can see, this bit moves over here. Keep an eye on that bit whilst I click on the manual. It changes. So by clicking manual, it changes the fade in. I like to have it on manual. I, hang on, let me get rid of this. And then hovering over this, you see these two little markers. There and there. You can drag these to whereabouts you want it to start um, to the actual full volume and to fade. So it sounds a bit like this. Fade in and out simply going back onto audio adjustments you can adjust this by this which um, is a lot better to be honest I generally use this fade in and out slide instead of actually doing the proper doing it on the actual um, audio clip or audio and you see it changes both so you can do fade in and out it's very useful that is enhance it reduces the background noise 
that is also very useful if you're doing using like a camcorder and you're doing a family um, video and you get people you can hear people's voices in the background which you don't want you can always change that equalizer this is quite useful you rarely use it but if you want to really enhance the music to some things say like loudness you can turn that up uh, bass boost uh, bass reduce um, trebles yeah, uh, flat, all sorts there. So you can check those out. And once you've done that, click done. And you can also go to clip adjustments. And then you go to audio effects and you got all of these to choose from. Normal, simply normal. Muffled is muffled uh robot is kinda of like cosmetic and cosmetic there. Echo, telephone, short shortwave radio what we tune, small room, etc. So yeah, that's also a good way to do it. And you just click on whichever one you want, done, and you got it. So you can just experiment with that, and you know you get the clips that you want. Oh, I have a message. That's nice to know. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But um, thanks for watching this video. Um, this has been Brad from Proverbial Gaming. And I hope this helps, guys. Please leave a comment, rate, and could you please subscribe to our channel? It'd be very useful. Having a Mac tutorial at least once a week. Okay, thanks, guys. Drop a hint or whatever you want to know. Goodbye.